Namaste everyone, this is Aranti and I have a question for you. What do Elon Musk, Donald Trump, Sundar Pichai and John Legend have in common? Besides being incredibly wealthy. They all went to the University of Pennsylvania, also known as UPenn, which is an Ivy League college located in the state of Pennsylvania in the United States. Some of you may have heard of the college Wharton, which is the business school within UPenn, and many of them went to UPenn. So I visited UPenn's campus recently and I met with a bunch of students and I want to show you what that was like. First up, let's meet Tushar. Tushar is a squash player and was recruited for the squash team. We're gonna go check out the squash courts also. Which means that a lot of his application was based on his skill at squash and how well he would fit into the team. But his academics still had to be really solid and he still had to take all the same exams everybody else does. What's your favorite part about UPenn's campus? I think it's, it's a good mix between the campus and city life. Mm. It has everything you need, plus squash goats are here, so I'm more than happy for that. <laughs> I love that. There's many videos about this on our channel in the education playlist, but the primary baseline exams you have to take are your school grades, the SAT or the ACT, and if you're an international student, an English language proficiency test. You may have heard of the TOEFL or the IELTS, but what many people don't know is that there is another exam available. It's called the DET or the Duolingo English Test. Duolingo is a language learning app that you may have heard of for people trying to learn different languages and they've devised an English test that is accepted by over 3,500 colleges all over the world including the US, UK, Canada, Australia and many more. And one of the colleges that accepts it is UPenn. There are several advantages of taking the DET. It's very convenient. Unlike some of the other tests, you can take it literally from the comfort of your own home. You don't have to go to any testing centers, wait in line, schedule tests way in advance. You can just schedule it online and take it online from the comfort of your own home. It's also really fast. Some of these other exams take hours to complete. This takes about an hour and you get your test results in two days, which is insane and really helps when say you're applying to scholarships or if you need to take the test really quickly and you don't have to wait for a testing date later on so it's super convenient and super fast. It's also pretty accessible. Taking some of these exams sometimes can be expensive and you can get a waiver but it's also difficult to get a fee waiver. It's also really cost effective. It's only 49 US dollars. So many of the top universities, UPenn of course, but Yale, Columbia, Johns Hopkins and so many more have adopted it. So it's a really good test option. You should definitely check it out. The last thing I'll say about the DET is sometimes what happens, especially if you're an international student, the test dates get filled up and then you have to wait like another six months for another test date. But with this, you schedule it whenever and you can take it whenever. So definitely check out the Duolingo English test. Um, I'm gonna put the link here and in the description below. And if you're confused about which universities accept it, there's a huge list of universities that accept it and more and more are accepting it every single day. It's a really convenient, accessible and affordable option for the English test that you have to take as an international student. So definitely go check it out. And let's get back to the campus tour. And where we're walking right now is like the main walk. Yep, it's uh, Locust Walk, Locust Street. Locust Walk, Locust Street. Yep. And okay. it's the campus. You okay, we'll show there. them the compass. Oh, you can't be here freshman yeah, year? Why? Walk through it freshman year. You'll fail your first midterm. Did you walk through it? I didn't walk through it. Ah! <laughs> That's why you didn't super fail. That's why you didn't fail. <laughs> That's the only reason you didn't fail. <laughs> and this, these are just, are they dorms or? Uh, these are frat houses. Houses, okay. Duolingo is offering a 20% discount code that's valid till the 5th of July 2022 and you can also take the test over the next 21 days after you purchase it. The code is here and the link is in the description below. Honestly, UPenn's campus is super pretty, super walkable. This this long walk is, is wild. It makes me feel like I'm in the middle of New York, but honestly, it's really fun to see the student energy, the bustling. Um, if you go, make sure you don't step on that compass because you want to be able to not fail your exams. Okay, so this is Old Wharton, the Wharton School, which you may know. And we passed by New Wharton back there. Which do you prefer? Which one do you think looks prettier? Um, definitely the New Wharton. The newer That's one? I'm upgraded, yeah. I just love how, I mean, literally this is a line that everybody walks through. It feels like, it feels like a 
city walk, honestly. All the classes are on these streets? Yeah. Okay. Most of the classes are like Makes sense. around here. So people are constantly like diverging left and right wherever they need to yeah. go for class? Yeah. Amazing. Just like the libraries are close by. Mm. Um, do the dining halls are close by. Makes sense. The freshman dorms like nearby as well. Makes sense. Something just around here. It's around here? Yeah. And you lived on campus your freshman year? Yeah, I lived in the quad freshman year. It's like okay. a typical freshman experience. Nice. With like 500 people in the quad. Oh my god. Everyone's just two minutes away. Yeah, it was a good freshman time. Love it. We also got to see the outside of the dorms, unfortunately not the inside because it was exam season, but that's okay. That's the love sign. Oh yes, the famous love sign. Famous love sign. Do you know if people find love near the love sign? Definitely heard some stories about it. Nice. People just sometimes sit on it, take <laughs> pictures, you find people with similar pictures. Oh. Well, definitely fun. Definitely heard some stories about finding people. People finding love? Yep. Yeah. Wow, maybe. Hopefully someday for me. Someday for you. <laughs> Next thing I know, you're posting pictures with the love sign. Oh, the love sign. <laughs> That's the famous library, Van mm -hmm. uh, I think it's one of the oldest libraries. Nice. Uh, and the biggest sure. library in the world, I think so. Oh, really? Yeah. And I six floors, and I was here all of my freshman year. Wow. This is like my second room. Oh, wow. Yeah, I was here like five in the morning. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> don't go there anymore now. Don't go there anymore. No, you have too many traumatic experiences too from there. <laughs> that's an interesting story. That's yeah. Funny. The button. Okay. It's, uh, it's a funny story. It's like ritual to like have sex on the button. All of these colleges have rituals to have sex somewhere. We had it in the library and you all have it in Under this button. the button. button. And we are now headed to the squash court. Yep. Just oh, so exciting. Also, you look so good in this camera with the sun. <laughs> I've actually never played squash. No. I have to it's, try it's a, once. I mean, it's a good mix between tennis and badminton. Mm. Tennis is just a lot longer, badminton is a lot shorter. Makes sense. Uh, like, yeah, squash is a lot more fast paced, uh, less breaks. But, like, yeah, it's good. Not many people know about squash, but, like, the field is just growing. It's a lot more global. It, it is. And the ball is not. Hard enough to break the no. glass. <laughs> it's, it's so soft. It's so soft. <laughs> and what is it called? Is it ca it's called squash here, or there's another name for it in the U.S.? So people mix it with racquetball. Mm. That's different. That's a shorter racket with a bigger frame. Okay. But like it's different. Yeah. It's different. When you take the matches mm. during fair team. Nice. And we have the team rooms, free match strategy. Mm. Team bonding. Nice. Some games. Some games. <laughs> some sleep between classes. Oh, I can imagine. Do you do you like it when people are cheering you on? Definitely. It's, uh, it gives you another kind of rush. Of think. course. So, which is your favorite court? The Shahani court. The Shahani. The Shahani. Court. <laughs> it's Tracy and Shani, but I call it Shahani. You call it's it Shahani. Shahani court. <laughs> it's my favorite court by far. Oh my gosh. Uh, court six doesn't have a name yet. Maybe that will be the Shahani court I'll one just day. Just a million dollars, and I'll get. The I know, right? <laughs> I mean, people have paid, people have contributed so much to the center. I can imagine. And all of these great players. Yeah. Yeah. So I met a couple of them. I met, uh, I forgot who, I think Ned Edwards. Nice. Uh, former player of Penn. Nice. Legend of Penn. Legend of Penn. Yeah. Do people get confused between Penn, like UPenn and Penn State? Definitely. A lot of yeah. people. Yeah. Uh, especially from India though. Like. You oh, know, really? Yeah. Because like, when they I have to say Wharton sometimes to illustrate like, you know, UPenn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like Penn, people say, okay, Penn State? Oh, no, it's UPenn. You're like, no, nah, wrong one. Wrong one. <laughs> I see the flags. Y'all know I'm biased towards which one, but the flags are all cool. That's the best college, obviously. It's right there. <laughs> And I oh, actually missed it. So there was a Ben Franklin statue. Oh, nice. It's a ritual. You have to pee on a statue. Again, we have a pee on the John Harvard statue. Oh, also. yeah, yeah. I, I think I, yeah, I think I saw yeah. the story of yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that one. <laughs> yeah. Why you shouldn't know. touch it, right? Yeah, I don't know what is with colleges and having people be a sex. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> just those things. What's coming up? College Hall is the oldest building in Ben. Ooh. 
a lot of like uh, events just happen around here. A lot of protests. Yeah, like just fun protests. Fun protests. Yeah. All, what was the weirdest? Stuff, yeah. What was the weirdest one that you I remember? Know. Actually, I don't participate in any of those. <laughs> I just find it so annoying. Uh, <laughs> a lot of people screaming for no reason. <laughs> if it has a cause, then why not? Yeah. But like, a lot of them are just stupid. So. What's, the, what's like the stupidest one? There's no water in the quad maybe one day. Yeah. And then people just protesting. There's no water in the quad. <laughs> <laughs> It'll definitely come back sometime. Yeah, exactly. That's so funny. B. That's, Franklin? That's B. Franklin, but that's mm. not the statue to be here. Oh, that's okay. There is multiple the statues. Yeah. yeah, he looks too protected. It's too high up to it's, be on that. It's too high. <laughs> Gotta scale a lot of heights. It has to be a little lower. Yeah. It's tough, yeah. Campus is pretty, I will admit. You know, the love statue, the love sign, and everything, but I might be. I'm kidding. You've been a beautiful campus. Plus, I mean, oh, proud of you. <laughs> do you speak any other language? Do you speak Sindhi? No, I don't speak Sindhi. No? Okay. Now we are headed to the quad, as I understand. Quad is the place to be a freshman here. Yeah. The place to be a freshman. And then after that, never again. After that, we just want to get back. Like, yeah. I, I, we dropped, my friend and I, we dropped the freshman squash players out here. Like, nostalgic. Of course. Yeah, we wanted, I would do anything to get back here. If, uh, we could if you could. If freshman again, yeah. Oh. Can we see the outside of your dorm? Uh, so that's the upper quad, it's a lower quad, so you take the steps up there. Nice. So that's the upper quad where I was living. Nice. There's, like if you go straight down, you could... There's a better? Yeah, there's a better. Okay. How did it feel to live in these like old historic buildings? Uh, I don't mind it, I liked it. Because yeah. like, it, looks, it looks old from the outside, but from the inside it is it's upgraded, like it is more fair. stuff. This was your entrance to your this freshman dorm? Entrance. Very grand. Yeah, it's, it's really good. I don't think we can enter, but that's totally okay. Yeah. So this is the peeing when Ben Franklin statue, correct? I don't. I mean, it is very low. But where where is it usually done? I mean, you can see it's all yellow. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, Sorry, Ben. And we're gonna end with a quick peek of the Student Art Center. This is where the infamous group Pen Masala practices and performs, and all of the arts groups perform at UPenn. This is Annenberg Center. Oh, is it an arts performing center? Uh, yeah, like a lot of the performances, drama, theater. They happen here? Happen here. Oh, very cool, because... Um, so the freshman dining hall at Harvard is called Annenberg. Oh, cool. So maybe Annenberg yeah. is just buying everything maybe. on every college campus. Yeah. Trying to get noticed, you know? Like Trying to get colleges. noticed, yeah, yeah. exactly. Definitely. Good marketing strategy. Good marketing strategy. This is the gym? That's the pot truck center. Nice. I, I don't come here too often, okay. but like we have a separate gym for the athletes. Makes sense. Just next to the squad. Because you're special. Oh, special. <laughs> I want to get special treatment. <laughs> uh, it's honestly so cool to see students who've been recruited for sports as well because they, like I did with music, they live a whole other life beyond just regular campus life. So it's actually really cool to see. But yeah, it's, a lot of people do come here early mornings. Nice. In between classes. Nice. That's everything. Swimming pool, basketball. Love it. It's a good place to be. Yeah, it looks like it. Spinning classes. Ooh. Yeah. Dental medicine. Love Fun it. fact, when I was a kid, I wanted to be a dentist. Oh, I, really? Like for a few years. Wow. Because I had a lot of dental problems and yeah. I used to visit a dentist a lot. So I really so liked like my dentist. That's cool. <laughs> like you have a problem with someone you want to try. Exactly, right? Exactly. exactly. I also met my childhood friend Nithya, who I haven't seen since I was nine years old. She's currently studying at UPenn as well. and. It was so amazing to see her. Here's what she had to say. She's amazing. She is a lawyer. She's killing it. She goes here for law school. I mean, She's nothing just... compared to you, Avanti. Oh, no, please, come on. Please. No, no, none of this is true. Um, it's been a very long time. We were in baby school. I don't even know, like, yeah. elementary school. Like, yeah, maybe like... elementary school, yeah. <laughs> we lived in the same neighborhood growing up. And um, I... It just... It, it always warms my heart when you meet people who are just... We were talking about this, right? You can pick up no matter where. And no matter where. Don't forget to check out the Duolingo English test and get a 20% discount using this code below. Philadelphia as a city is also a really pretty city and um, it's a campus school but it also feels like you can access the city really easily. It's very convenient and close to New York, Boston and all the other cities in the Northeast so it's 
a really great option and you might be considered among the notable alumni like the ones I mentioned at the beginning of this video I think Warren Buffett also went there's so many people who went to UPenn <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that quick walk around on UPenn's campus I also filmed a Harvard and Princeton campus tour video so if you want me to put those up please let me know let me know which other universities y'all would like within the US or Canada or even the UK and if you're currently attending a university and you would like to show me around please let me know in the comments below I would absolutely love to visit your campus and hopefully we can share more of that with our community here okay thank you for watching if you've been watching till this point comment below a notable alumnus from UPenn then I know you've really been watching and I will see you soon in the next video lots of love bye Give up and give up something beautiful today Ooh.